Hello, my name is Terry Jackson, owner of Free Spirit Felts. My website is freespiritfelts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic egg shape. We're going to be using um, core wool batting. It's just nice fluffy core wool batting made out of several different types of sheep wool. Um, it's not good to use for skin but it is great to use on the inside of dolls and, and other shapes. I'm also going to be using my needle felting pad and a 40 uh, gauge triangle needle. It's got two needles in it. These are super duper uh, felting needles. I sell them in my shop along with the felting pads and the core wool. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off about four or five sheets of core wool. And I don't want it to be, you know, misshaped like this. So I'm going to pull off these little fluffs and I'm going to shape it kind of into a, a nice fluffy shape. And it's going to be about the size of my hand. So there's one layer. There's two layers. three layers, four layers, and I'm going to use all this little other little, these little tags because they're going to be on the inside. Um, there's five layers. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hold it in our left hand and we're going to roll it over with our other hand. We're going to roll it right over our thumb, just like that. And we're going to make a nice ridge right here. Okay, we're going to keep uh, keep good hold on this because if you let it go during this process, it's going to just fluff out into this nice big fluffy batting again. Okay, so we've got the one fold over. We're going to roll it over this thumb and hold it. Roll it over this thumb and hold it. And then we're going to fold it down and pinch it really tight and we're going to roll it over again this way and we're going to roll it over this way and then we're going to roll it down now all we have left are these little fluffs so what we're going to do is hold it really tight and we're going to roll it and then we're going to put it down on our mat so it's very tight and i'm going to take my double 40 yellow triangle and I'm going to start felting it. I'm just going to go straight in and straight out of this wool. Now let me now while I'm doing this, I'm going to let you know about these needles. They are very very sharp. If you go and you poke yourself accidentally, it's it's going to be um, a little bit of a uh, ouching. <laughs> so keep your fingers out of the way. The other thing is is these needles are very brittle. You want to go straight in and straight out of your wool. You don't want to you don't want to go in, turn it, and come out because it will snap your needle off. Um, you can go in at different angles, straight up and down, at an angle, whatever you want, but just don't twist it once you get into that wool. So once we get the um, the little ends felted in there, we actually can let this go, and it's not going to go anywhere. But that's not a very nice looking egg shape. And it needs to be felted all the way around. So we're going to continue to felt it. We're going to... And we also want one end of this egg a little bit bigger than the other. Obviously we want it to be shaped exactly like an egg. So we're going to look at... We're going to work on one end. We're going to go around it. We're going to make sure we're... We've got all these little fluffs felted down. We don't want any little puffs of air in here. This can be a very relaxing craft. Um, funny enough, I really like the sound of the needle punching into the wool. It, for me, it's just it's very relaxing and it's very stress relieving for me. Um, You can see what I'm doing here. It's kind of hard to get the camera position sometimes. This is probably not the funnest part of needle felting. 
making your basic egg shapes for everything, but it is a very uh, important part of needle felting. You have to learn how to make these egg shapes to make uh, doll heads, to make Easter eggs, to make arms and legs, um, and the bodies of your animals, or, or, I'm sorry, of your dolls. But when you're making animals also, you're going to use these eggs to make the head, the body, the legs, everything. So these basic egg shapes are real important in just about everything that you do in making dolls and animals in needle felting. So when I first started, um, I made a lot of egg shapes. Just practice making egg shapes. Probably the hardest thing about making an egg shape is learning how to fold it and hold it. The needle felting part of it is easy once you learn to keep your fingers out of the way and you don't get poked. And by the way, when you're first learning, you might want to keep some alcohol or, or some tissues nearby just in case because you're going to have some sore fingers in the very beginning if you don't keep your fingers out of the way. So it looks like we're getting really close here. I'm just finishing up this end. The other thing I've learned that if you um, keep your arm firmly planted and only use your wrist, you're going to have a little bit less sore of an arm because it does work your uh, arm, believe it or not. Um, I'm not saying that you're going to develop any big muscles or anything, but uh, you definitely will have a sore arm for, you know, when you're learning how to do this. Okay. Just going to tighten this little end up, the end of this egg up here. It looks like I'm just about done. You're going to know that you're finished with this egg when you can when you look at the egg and you don't see all these fluffs. Now you notice I didn't really tug on that. I just stuck that needle through there. I was just showing you how there was still some fluff left on this egg. If you're going to do any pulling at all on your wool, I use a doll needle. You can stick this in and you can pull real hard on that and it won't break your needle. But if you do that with your doll felting needle, um, it is going to snap right off. So I'm just going to go around this one more time because I see some more fluffs. And if you have to, you can, you know, you, if you if you need to make this little end this end smaller, you can squeeze it and then felt it. You squish it and you felt it, and you squish it and you felt it, and that's what that's how you get your shapes uh, tamed into the uh, place that you want them to be. This is probably going to end up being a doll head because that's what I like to make as dolls. So, there we go. You got the large end, you've got a little bit smaller end, and there you have your basic egg shape. Please look for my other videos on YouTube. And don't forget to visit my website at www.freespiritfelts.com for all your needle felting supplies. And I hope you all have a great day and happy felting.